Oh, okay. I just finished my four hour horseback ride and finally it, it was interesting. But I want to show you the uh, my accommodations for two nights now because I'm still here. Uh, it's after five. I don't think I can find a bus to Tashkurgan. Uh, this is the yurt. So we have a stove in the center where they burn something that looks like heather to start the fire, but then they throw on yak patties, yes, dung from the local bovine, and but they also have a gas propane stove over here that I've seen them use. Here we have the condiments and drinks and the yogurt in the making, sour milk they call it. It's very good. Love the sideboard. Uh, here's the cutting board. Uh, they turned around to wash it off. She takes her hands and wipes it, and that's the extent of washing. I love how they utilize the crossbars as hooks to hang just about everything. Under this beautiful cloth, are quilts about my goodness maybe 30 quilts uh, I've never seen so many for one small house but uh, they each slept on one layer last night they gave me two layers to sleep on and tonight I'm going to request three it was rather the, the quilts are rather thick and very very hard it was rough sleeping but with maybe three pads, maybe <coughs> this princess will be able to get some sleep. Uh, here we have some more yogurt. I assume they're drying it. Uh, and again, using the hooks to hang things. Very clever. Uh, they also have some sort of strapping holding the upper supports in place. And that's a good a handy pocket for storing things like sunglasses. Who knows what you'll find tucked in someplace. Now as soon as I came in yesterday and today, they put out this oops, <coughs> red mat for me to sit on. And they gave me some bread and a thermos of tea. Very nice. There's the flapping door. Strong wind sometimes comes and goes.